Hello everyone, this is Oshini from Chidda.com. Today, we will be doing a very beautiful problem from NFTC. So, NFTC is a mathematical Olympiad in India. There are many beautiful problems coming in it. You can check the link in the description for more resources related to NFTC and math and Olympiads. So, what this problem says is that we are trying to which is PQR, P Q R. We draw our altitude. This is um, P L. So altitude is P L. Altitude means this angle is ninety degree, and um, we draw the bisector of angle R, which is here. It's called R K, the bisector of angle R, and. From the point K, we drop a perpendicular one more time. This angle is 90 degree. So this point here is M and this point is N. Okay. Now what you do is you draw the circumcircle of NKR. So let's draw, let me join NR. And let's draw the circumcircle of NKR. So, like this, maybe. Okay. And this point is suppose S. This point is S. What we want to show is that this is H, suppose. So, S, H, K. Triangle S H K is isosceles. Triangle S H K is isosceles. How do we show that? That's the question. This is why. So I run through the detail one more time. You can draw the picture in your notebook. One of the most important parts of the geometry problem is to draw the picture nicely. Okay? So P to L is the perpendicular, R to K is the angle bisector, angle bisector, and K to M is the perpendicular. K to M is the perpendicular. And we draw the circumcircle of NKR, circumcircle of NKR, which cuts QR again at S. We have joined SKSH. We want to show that triangle SHK is isosceles. So how are we going to do this? So if you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Oshin Dashtuktu. I'm a faculty at Chinta.com. We have outstanding programs on mathematical sciences, physics Olympiad, math informatics Olympiad, ISICMI entrances and research projects for school students. Check the link in the description for more detail. All right. And if you like content related to mathematical sciences, consider subscribing to our channel and have interactions, comments, and so on. We often give out awards to students who have been commenting for quite some time. So please stay in the community and interact. Okay. All right. So let's let's look at this problem. How do we how do we solve it? So I'll copy this particular diagram. And put it here. So one of the things is there is a crucial one crucial uh, construction. So let's call it one magic construction. You know this is often true about geometry problems that if you do one very crucial construction and do some initial observations, the problem sort of unlocks itself. And it's kind of magical. So what is that construction? The construction is join NS. If we join NS. Alright? So, suppose this angle here is theta, and we will do some angle chasing, this angle is theta, then this angle is also theta. 
this angle, right? Because it's an angle bisector. If this is an angle bisector, so if this is theta, then this entire angle is also theta. Okay, so now, since this is 90 degree and this is theta, therefore this is 90 minus theta. This is 90 degree, this is theta, so this is 90 minus theta, right? And we also know that since this angle is theta, this angle is theta, therefore this angle is also theta. Here. This is theta. Why is that? Well, because it's angle in the same segment. Same segment. And what is the segment here? The segment is KS. So, I quickly remind you, is the properties of cyclic quadrilateral, that if you have a circle, if you have a chord like this, let's call this chord AS, if there are two angles subtended by KS, that means this angle is standing on KS, then these two angles would be equal. Okay? So it's a basic, basic, basic property of cyclic quadrilateral. So here you have KS and the two angles are this one and this. So this is theta, this is theta, right? Okay, so that's great. So one more thing is, this is 90 minus theta as well. Why? Because this is a little right angle triangle, this angle is theta, so this is my, my, my n divided is theta. So that means this angle must be 90 minus theta. This angle must be 90 minus theta, which means this total angle is 2 theta. Because in this triangle, these three angles should add up to 180 degree. These two base angles add up to 90 minus theta plus 90 minus theta. But that's 180 minus 2 theta. 180 minus 2. So we have two base angles add up to 180 minus 2 theta. So this, this angle is 2 theta. This total angle is 2 theta. Now, the total angle is 2 theta, means this angle is theta we have already shown, which means this angle must be theta as well. Okay? So, we now have the setup ready. We have done some angle chasing, and we have found certain pieces. Now, we will put them together. Again, so... Let's see which two triangles are congruent now. The first thing you have to realize is that here in this picture, NKH is isosceles. Why? Because we have already shown that the base angles are 90 minus theta. The two base angles are 90 minus theta. So we know then that NK is equal to NH. NK is equal to NH. And we've already shown that KNS and HNS are both theta. KNS and HNS. Both of these angles are theta. We know that. Both of them are theta. And we have NS as a common side. Therefore, the triangles KNS and HNS are congruent. Triangle KNS is congruent to triangle HNS. Therefore, these two sides SK must be equal to SH. 
since these two triangles K and S and H and S are congruent, therefore SK must be equal to SH. SK is equal to SH. And that is, my friend, the final solution. Therefore, SHK is a psychic project, uh, is, a, is an isosceles triangle. All right? So I think you like the problem. Try more and more problems. It does not matter if you know all the theorems in the world. If you don't know how to apply them in problems, it will not click. And if that's, that's the most important thing. How does it click? So what we suggest at Chitta, and you can check the link in the description for our progress, is that you should do great problems every day. If you are an internal student at Chitta, make sure you are attending the problem solving classes five days a week. It's a very crucial component of the Mathel and Bear program at Chinda. And more problems you do, you will be able to think independently of more about these kind of problems. Okay. Thank you for joining in today. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and goodbye.